Hey, what's up guys? Today we have the KWA SR10. Now this is not the main gun that I want to talk to you guys about today, but this is a very well established gun in the airsoft world as one of the top notch guns out of the box, can handle an 11.1 LiPo, great rate of fire, great reliability. Right now it is extremely difficult to find a KWA SR10 because they're mostly out of stock. So we understand how popular this gun is. So our technicians have been very busy. We created two substitutes for the SR10 that are going to find function almost exactly the same. The first one, this is the Airsoft GI Custom KWA M4 Troy. So what we have is the 2GX gearbox, we actually utilized the commandos from the KWA series as the base gun. So internally, it is exactly the same. The same rate of fire, the same performance, the same reliability that KWA is known for. And what our technicians did was throw on the different rail systems. This is gonna be a Troy rail system. And what I really like about it is it's very modular. There's rails where you need it and not where you don't. don't. So for example, if you want to take your rails off and move them to a different place, it's gonna save the weight. So this is the Troy. The other one that we have is going to be the NSR Noveski Key Mod. Now this rail system is by far one of my favorite rail systems on the market today. It's probably the lightest rail system I've ever felt in the airsoft world. I like it so much I actually just bought one. So these guns are going to be very, very similar to the SR10s. I believe the only difference is it is about an inch shorter in terms of barrel length. But you should get a very good performance. So just to show you guys how good these guns can rock. We have an 11.1 rifle plugged into both of them, and we're going to give them a try at the same time. Oops, semi. And full auto. It's kind of tricky to do. I love my job.